So we have got ourselves the Prime Zambrotta here. Is he going to be worth all of your icon tokens? I think it's 14 of them. We'll double check at the end of the video. That is the million dollar question. His card is normally fantastic in FIFA. There's never ever anything wrong with it in terms of what he does. He's a fantastic right back. He can even play centre back if you need him to, or as a five back as a right wing back. Obviously, he's got four star skill, five star weak foot, five foot eleven. The only thing I will say is his attack and work rate is high medium. But I'll be honest with you, so far in this FIFA, I haven't really noticed any problems with people having high work rate, especially if you tell them to stay back. In terms of his statistics, as you can see here, he's got fantastic acceleration, fantastic sprint speed, good short pass, a long pass. Cole, very good. Composure is amazing. Agility balance is something you could definitely work on, that is for sure. Beware to be worried about him being pressured, but reaction, ball control, dribbling, very good. Then we get to the defending. Slide tackle, stand tackle is one of those things you only really notice in manual, but his defensive awareness is 86. That means he's going to intercept a lot of stuff with the AI blocks, interceptions, etc. Headering accuracy and interceptions are very, very good just for a right back of his height at 5'11". You can see stamina 90 jumping could be a little bit more of a way to be picky in terms of strength as well but this card is very good obviously it has no traits unfortunately obviously this is ai trait so you don't know what that means that means it's just going to be in terms of cpu so when you play against squad battles or anything like that ai which is a bit frustrating for someone of his caliber not to have any traits and obviously he's got his career there but let's go jump into a game and see how we got on with him i have managed to play quite a lot of games with him already and i found that he just gets in the way of everything he does the job. He can transition from defense straight into attack when you need him to, down that right-hand side. In terms of prices, it's a very tough one because, obviously, with him being in the icon swaps, a lot of people, by the time you're watching this in January time, if not before, are going to be picking him if they already have, and that means his price is going to come down. Obviously, once we get a prime icon, SPC comes out repeatable or not repeatable, or a mid and prime, whatever they give us. If I got this card, I would be quite happy. It's my right-back sorted for the entirety of the game. That's one thing you can guarantee with him. Obviously, having five-star weak foot and being... Is he right-footed? He is right-footed. He's going to give you so many options because you can play him left-back on 7 cam. He's not going to make any difference, if I'm honest with you, just because of that five-star weak foot and having that high composure. He's a fantastic card in terms of that. But anyway, less of this. Let's just jump into a game and see how we get on with him. So here is our opponent's team. He is playing a free... I don't even know what that is. Was that 3-5-1-2 or 3-4-1-2 even, sorry? Interesting how Zambrot gets on with the overload on the right-hand side. Obviously having those numbers on the outside. The main thing for me is his ability to, uh, if he does get tackled, drop the ball for us. We get him on the ball here instantly. So good, very good animation in turn. Elastic dribbling seems very good. But also got Kaka there. Might be a offside. Not the greatest pass there for me to honest. Kind of forced that. We do manage to get our header away there. But the most important thing for me, yeah, is his obviously recovery speed if you do attack. As well as being able to sit back and do the defensive jobs. Obviously, as you can see, he can ping the ball left, right. With his left or right, sorry. He's Ronaldo. Ronaldo turns, shoots. Good save. But you can see in terms of how he pushes the ball forward, if you like your right backs to attack, he is very, very good at doing that. His pass is unfortunate as I was. I have one hand off the controller at that moment. But you can see, look at him run back into his spell because of his high acceleration, top speed, and having the defensive awareness, he knows that he has to run back, which is nice to see. He's trying to overlap for us. Find him. Not the greatest cross. Couldn't quite get it there. The defender came up too quick. Good defense from him. But I like how he's linking up with the play. Oh, Zambrot has been caught out of there. Can he catch up though? Oh. Not the greatest movement there from him. It feels a bit clunky sometimes when you're caught out. Obviously, I'm trying to show you some mistakes in there because I could show you a perfect run of defensive moves and make him look amazing. Because it's icon swaps and there's a lot of your own time, I don't want him. To, I don't. I just want to show you an honest report of him, basically. Look at that. That's that's something. That's not a great pass, I will admit. Oh, but look at the recovery speed, though. Not a great pass for me, out. We'll be honest, but how we managed to uh, fully comb off the ball there and keep ourselves from conceding, even though we did do a bad pass. But I will take full responsibility for that bad pass. So we do get Zaggy through. Quick enough. Over. What a ball, what a finish. And that's come from essentially the defensive work rate of Zambrotta into a corner to counter attack. Yeah, obviously, I'll be honest, it was a bad pass and we managed to get a corner, but you know, he had to make that tackle. He was clean through our boys in our box. And they are the tackles that you need for the composure to catch up. We have got into half time at 1 0. Nice clean sheet for Zambrotta so far. Things I've noticed with him is he's very, very good going forward. 
His passing ability is a little bit inconsistent at times, but in terms of actual as a card, I do enjoy it. I think he's a bit slow at moving sometimes though with the ball, I have to be honest. And what I mean by that is his animation or his body type is kind of, he's a bit clunky turning left and right. But that would be incredibly harsh on him just because obviously he is a right back and you're not expecting him to be able to turn like a, a centre forward or a really high agility cam, for example. And he wins the ball, nice little pass up, and we're on our counter attack again. Zambra back post. Header, oh, that may have gone in, who knows. I don't know what he's doing now, didn't tell him to go up, but we will take that. That's again his high work rates. Nice ball. Look at Zambra run down top. Four star skill coming into play, very nice skill. Trying to open up that space, nowhere to go right now. He did manage, oh, what a save or a poor shot. Do recover from it though. You can see he, he can execute the skill quite well for a right back. I think if you play five at the back, with a right wing back, it's going to suit you massively. But that's not my type of play. I like to play either 4 1 2 1 2 or 4 2 3 1. Just your standard four at the back. Do catch the keeper off his line, and we have managed to get ourselves a winner there by the looks of it. Kevin De Bruyne there getting the goal, giving us a 3 1 lead. The tackle from Zambroa. Bit lucky with deflection. Not the greatest there from Sol Campbell. He does recover well though. Is Ambrot pushing up the line again? It's where I like to move in the most. Can't get him the ball. Can we do it now? He can. Get tackled by our own player, doesn't help. As you can see, good ball roll. Great execution there. One more pass in, left foot. Ronaldo, we knew it was going to be a goal as soon as he gets the ball through. And that is an assist for Zambrot there. But you can see, because he, he can use his left foot, ball rolling on from his right to his left helps you out massively. Just gives you that extra option if you need it, especially if you're losing a game and you have to go all out attack. It's not a bad option to have pushing forward. And we do win the game 4 1. Dabro's been good. Whether he's worth 14 tokens or not, I'm not 100% sure, but we will discuss that in a minute. Let's go have a look at his in game stats quickly. So as you can see, he got one assist in the game. In terms of possession, he had 25 dribbles, 23 complete, which is very good for a right back, especially pushing up and down the field as he was. In terms of shooting, he only had one shot and it was blocked, so nothing to really make of that. Passing, 26 passes, 16 complete, one assist. As you can see, some of the passes were small intricate passes, and I don't know if that's because the defender read me or he just kind of takes a little while to get execute that skill. And he only had one tackle, one clearance, and he's being by the opponent once. So again, very hard game to play in that with that scenario. He was caught out of position a couple of times, I did notice, but let's go have a look at his tokens quickly. So the million dollar question, is he worth your 14 tokens? I personally don't think so. I don't think so, to be honest with you. Uh, he's a very good right back, yes. Is, is the problem with the right back is it's not very exciting, is it? Let's be honest, it's like, oh yeah, I've got a right back icon. If you get him, if you pack him, for example, from a normal pack or I don't know, the middle prime icon pack, for example, then you've got yourself a dub. I'll be honest with you, it is a very good card to get. Is it worth putting 14 tokens in? I don't think so, personally. I do enjoy the card a lot. I do think he is a solid right back. He gets the job done. He's just not exciting. You're not ever like, oh, yes, I've just got Zambrot and the one person I really wanted. There's none on the market. Oh, wait a second, I'll put the wrong price. There isn't, you know what I mean? It's just not one of those exciting cards. He's a very good defender. He can play left back if you need him to. Is he worth a mil or 1.6? I don't think so, personally, I'll be honest with you. By the time you're probably looking at this, he's probably dropped down in price. If you don't know sure about the price, then comment down below and I'll get back to you. If you are new to the channel and you enjoy these types of things, make sure you hit that subscription button, turn on the notification bell so you the video, and I'll catch you in the next one.